There it is. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys for being here tonight. So we will have a recording of this. It'll be up on the YouTube channel and I will make sure to share the link for that um, and all the platforms where you might have heard about this class. As I'm going through this, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. I want to make the best use of everybody's time. So I'll go through things and you can pop questions in the chat anytime that you have any of them as they come. I might answer your question in a future one. So you could also jot in a future uh, you know, slide or something tonight. So you could also um, just jot them down. If you're watching the recording, uh, you can feel free to reach out with any questions. So tonight I'm just going to be talking about starting a natural health business, what I did for that. Um, I'm actually at my family's uh, wellness store. Um, and so I have some other perspective to share with you tonight too about different types of businesses and um, just kind of giving them some comparison and just some things to think about. So this class is how I started a natural health business through Young Living and how I had a natural health business before that, but how Young Living was a catalyst for some of the other things I'm able to do. And so just kind of talking about that tonight. So if you um, are interested, here's a little bit about me and why I can speak about this. Uh, I have six kids. We've been homeschooling for 17 years and that hasn't changed no matter how many businesses I run that still are, are a huge priority to me. I started a blog back in 2010, so quite a while ago, and I just started sharing natural health information because I had a passion for it, as I know that some of you do as well. And uh, that was quite the journey for me in sticking through that. And we'll talk about that too. Three years later, after I did that, I started Young Living just um, as a customer. And I was just bu buying the products and learning how they worked with my family and digging into some research about them. And then two years later, I decided that I really needed to start sharing what I was learning with other people. Uh, I went through some really huge obstacles since then in sharing that information. But the reason that I never quit was because really all about the passion that I have to share natural health information. And so I just wanted to share with you guys, if that's something similar to you and what your passion is, um, just where you can take that and really reach a lot of people with that. So after I started doing that, five years after I bought my first essential oil and diffuser from Young Living, um, I hit what's called the rank of diamond. And um, it's just something that I never really set out to do, uh, but it's definitely been a huge blessing for our family. And so I'll show you what that means if you're not familiar with that. And I'm gonna just kind of enlarge this and hopefully that should work for you. But this is just um, we, something we just kind of have to talk about. Now, I'm gonna talk about how it's not just money, but we all of course need money to pay our bills and to, pursue the things that, you know, we really have on our hearts as far as ministry or, or whatever it is that um, is for each person. So these are just the different levels. And this is kind of just um, not something you really need to know. I didn't really know it at the time. I just knew that I really wanted to share the health information. And I was having experiences that I really wanted to share with people. And I wanted to see them have too. And um I thought, you know, it'd be a bonus if I could just use it, the referral cash to help pay for our products because we couldn't afford them at the time. And then also, um, also I just thought, you know, and then as a bonus, I could also like maybe help pay the mortgage, you know, and free up some time for our family to do more activities together. So you can go to youngliving.com backslash IDS and see just what all of this is about and what that means. I will say that as I've gone through this in the last five years, I have seen, well, more than that, but I've seen that these numbers are very accurate in, in my experience. They're averages though, remember. Uh, so that's just what an average is, but uh, they definitely seem to be reflected pretty accurately in my experience. So, First, I want to dispel some myths about what this is not, because I think that these are some of the things that people get hung up on and people stop right here. I did for two years. I got stuck on these things right here. In two years, I decided that I would kind of just really quietly sprinkle some of the research and the experiences I was having 
and keeping them from other people because of these misconceptions. So I wanted to make sure to cover these right away. This is not carrying and selling inventory. I could flip this camera around, but I can't see it. So I wouldn't know if I got it in the right spot again or not. But on the other side of me are shelves full of inventory. Um, it's not something that many people can do. I mean, at the time I've always got thousands and thousands of dollars in inventory of, um, and I, what I carry in my store is, um, I don't carry Young Living things. I carry um, other things that we do not have through Young Living, which is not a lot, <laughs> but things that we found valuable. And so I've always got thousands and thousands of dollars in inventory. And if I, I don't sell them, I'm out of that money. Um, sometimes they hit an expiration date and I realized that I just lost the money that I put in that inventory and I'm not, I can't sell them now. So um, that's one thing this is not. Um, this isn't something like where you have to buy a bunch of products and then sell them or you have to buy things in order to sell things or stuff like that. This also, I will say, is not just something like, oh, she hit diamond because she just got lucky or she hit the lottery or, you know, she, um, you know, got a free ride somehow. It, it's definitely work. So uh, it's not a nine to five job, but it's definitely work that does take time. And the, the amount of time in it that we put into it sometimes does reflect what we get back out of it. But there are a lot of variations in that and everybody finds what works for them. This is not just something that's possible only with a large network. I've uh, seen this happen for a lot of people in various situations, um, and that's definitely not a deciding factor. So this doesn't mean like, oh my gosh, you have to have a ton of friends and you, or you have to have a huge following on social media. When I started sharing, I did not. Um, you know, when I started in 2010, I started Healthy Families for God, and I started at zero. So, um, you know, we all start somewhere. This isn't being an employee. And I share that because there's a good side and a challenging side to that. We don't have a boss in this. I am my own boss, which is great. And everybody's like, I wanna be my own boss. But then when the rubber meets the road, some people are like, um, okay, I have to hold myself accountable. I have to make sure that I'm doing the work because nobody else is gonna tell me to do that too. This is not something that you need a degree in. And when I say, that this is a really great way to have a natural health business. I'm not saying this is a really great way to uh, show everybody that you're a natural health expert, okay? Because it is a really great thing to do to not do that, in my opinion. Um, you know, I don't talk about the degrees that I have and I'm not like blasting all that out there because the cool thing about this is it becomes something really beautiful when we share our experiences and we share the resources that we have with other people so then they get to learn to become their own expert and that's something that has been hugely rewarding in my life so i'd love to see more people be able to experience that um, this isn't locking you into an obligation some people think that if they do this uh, then they can't ever like back out. They can't decide that uh, they need um, they need some space. They need some time off or they need this or something. Um, a year ago today, uh, we had an extremely difficult life altering event and it took us, um, you know, months to recoup and just learn a new way of life and everything. And I was able to do that and nothing you know, like I didn't, I was still getting my check. Um, and, you know, I could sprinkle in education as I was experiencing those things um, with our health journey. But it wasn't like I was locked in and I had to show up when we were going through something really, really difficult. I didn't have to just show up at a certain time and I didn't have to be there. Um, so this isn't like some people will say, well, if I start, then I've got all these people depending on me, but that's why we're not like, I'm the expert and you have to just like follow me. That's why we don't approach it that way. It's a really good thing that way. Again, like I said, there's, this isn't where you have a boss telling you what to do. So the, the good side and the challenging side of that, uh, this is not cold. This is not cold messaging people to sell products. And what I mean by that is this is not like, Hey, how you doing? I've got a product for you or stuff like that. Um, some people do it that way. And like I said, you don't have a boss. So everybody gets to choose how they're going to do it. 
and some people can. Uh, I prefer not to, and I prefer to train people on other ways uh, that were more invested into relationships and things like that. Because man, people have things going on in their life and we just wanna be sensitive to that. And we really just wanna be helpful. So that's more where we go with it. Uh, but it, it's also not having salesy posts take over your social media. So uh, some people are like, well, do you have like graphics and this and this and stuff? Well, we do have that, but we also want to just have it just be like from the heart and you're just genuinely sharing your own personal experiences. So. Um, really all of this is, is just like, Hey, I went to this really cool restaurant and I loved this meal. Like I went to, I don't remember what this place called, was called, but it was the best beet salad I had ever had in my life. And I will rave about that beet salad to everybody that ever talks about needing a good restaurant recommendation in the Tulsa area, because I cannot get enough of that salad. And so it's kind of like that, but you get referral bonuses, okay? So I really much prefer that. So what it is, this is like I said, hopefully for most people, being authentic. We're not here to be the experts. Uh, we're not here to tell people what they need to do. We just get to share our experiences. And when I'm like reading a book and I find something in it and I find it just absolutely fascinating and I think it might help somebody, I get to just share that with people. This is also building a like-minded community. So I know that sometimes on our journey, we start to feel alone. Like we're making these changes and then we have these people around us who are critical of it or they just aren't there and we start to feel alone. This is one of the most amazing blessings that has come out of it for me. And the way that it's structured, I can um, you know, like build a like-minded community here with my wellness center, but it's, very different and a little bit more challenging because the way that a network marketing company is structured, it really only thrives off of building community. And so, I mean, I can have customers coming in and out of here all day long who don't want to tell me a stitch about their life, um, but we really just have, we really like to create an environment where we can um, have that. And, and this, this kind of structure really, really does that. Um, the nice thing is also that it, you, you can work from anywhere with this. So my family likes to go on RV trips and I can sit by the ocean um, by our, our, you know, RV and just, um, you know, get, get through, get to some messages from people and asking questions and, and, and just do some more natural health research that I want to share and things like that. And I get to just do that from anywhere. Uh, this is also willable and residual income. Most people don't know what those are, so I'll briefly explain. Willable income means that if it was your time to go and be with the Lord, you have a check that will still be coming in and that will go towards your family. So I met this or somebody else. I met this one sweet, sweet old man on one of the trips that the company paid for us to go on to Spain. And uh, he was wearing his Hawaiian shirt and we were in Spain. And I found out that he had been willed a business um, from his employer because he was a um, like butler or something of somebody who on the side had a young living business. And um, because I will tell you that people who know how to um, just really be wise with their spending and their income and their businesses, they do stuff like this for some of it. But anyway, um, so anyway, he had willed it to him. And so this cute little old man was getting this check and going on these trips with his sweet little old wife uh, because it was willed to him. So uh, that's one of the things. And then residual income means that long after you've done the work, you're still getting paid on it. So like celebrities, say for instance, a musician, when they do a song, um, like Mariah Carey's, what is that Christmas song that she, she does, All I Want for Christmas is You, uh, she's still getting residual income off of that song that she did a long time ago. So that's what residual income means. Personal growth and personal accountability have been my favorite, one of my favorites about this. Um, because sometimes with the structure and just in any business uh, that is required, 
you know, that, re that is going to grow. It also takes personal growth. And um, sometimes that just means that we might have some restrictive ideas or some limiting mindsets that we might come across as we're working on building a community because that takes personal growth too and things like that. Um, and so we work through a lot of that in some of our training groups and things like that. And in fact, that's what we work on mostly. I don't teach people how to make money. I don't teach people how to um, like understand compensation and commissions and stuff like that. I teach mostly on personal growth. And so that trickles over into all areas of our lives, which has been a phenomenal blessing, blessing for me and probably my family too. <laughs> uh, continuously learning about natural health. This for some is, is a great job and is a blessing. And maybe that's why you're here because you love that. And you just get to pour some time into continuously learning and expanding uh, your knowledge and in turn expanding other people's knowledge. And the cool thing is, is that, you know, you've probably seen studies and research and stuff, how they say that when you learn something, the best way to retain it is to share it. And, and that's what we do. That's really all we do. Sharing what you learn and your experiences, like I said about, you know, you're just like, oh my gosh, I used this on my kid's chest when he was coughing and I can't believe that it worked because I'm surprised all the time still about these things. Income that matches a level of effort. So in traditional business models, uh, you can work twice as hard as the person in the cubicle next to you and still get paid the same amount. But this is different in that regard too. And one of my favorites also is that we rise by lifting others. So network marketing companies are formulated so that, um, and when the when the atmosphere is is collaborative of that too, I should say, that we we succeed when we help others succeed. And so, I really love that. So here's just some statistics to consider. The average business startup cost for self-employment is $18,000. Um, just for an example, when I started this wellness center that we're in, um, I put a check for $25,000 uh, into the landlord's hand um, for our space and stuff like that. So um, obviously that's not how every business is going to be. Again, that's, that's an average, but if we're gonna work for ourselves, um, usually there's going to be other startup costs. So that's one, bonus to doing it this way. Uh, when I had first started, I thought about, you know, doing a wellness center and I just, I didn't have the funds for it and I didn't have the money to risk for it. And so it was a great way to look into something else that was going to help my family a bit more and still be able to do the same thing that I'm passionate about. Most network marketing companies do not survive past five years. It's just how it is. Uh, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, one of the reasons that you know, we are really, really fortunate to have Young Living besides the fact that I, you know, just find that their product quality and everything is just so, so superior in so many ways um, is that the company has been around for over 25 years and is still growing, which is extremely, extremely rare uh, for a network marketing company nowadays. Also, the market for online growing, for online shopping is growing so rapid. 91% of the U.S.'s current population will be shopping online by next year. They are talking a lot about how it's just growing so rapidly. And I will tell you something so interesting. I was going through our, sale, our sales talks last night or the night before, and I was finding people that live in our same city were ordering online from my store instead of coming into the store. So I think, you know, it's just a small sample, but I'm seeing that trend more and more. More people would just rather buy things online than come into something. So it's a really great way to look at, um, or time to look at just really where things are going in that regard. By next year, uh, the e-commerce retail purchases are expected to rise from 14 to 22%, which is a huge, huge increase in, in just a short period of time. And then network marketing is the fastest growing industry in the world. So, you know, I just feel like also if we're going to invest our time into something in our, you know, our time is so valuable. And I just want to make sure that it's invested into something that's, you know, going to have some longevity to it. Uh, you know, as I've been doing this in the last how many eight years, 
I've seen a lot of companies come and go, a lot of them. People are messaging me, what about this company? Have you checked into this company? Have you checked in these products? And they just have all come and gone in this time. And it really just wasn't a good avenue for me to help people with um, without the longevity. So this is what I did. And you know, you could do it too if you, if you feel led. Partner with a company that you can get behind, that you feel like has some longevity, uh, that you just really are confident of the quality. And maybe that means you start having experiences with products first. And just like, you know, this is this is what this is what I can feel really great about sharing. And that's what I did for two years before I got to that point. And then you get a referral ID number. Uh, and then you, you keep gaining that personal experience with those products so that you're authentically sharing. You continue to expand your education and your knowledge. And so you're utilizing the existing resources. Uh, we, we make sure that we have a lot of resources for people to continue their learning. Uh, we do uh, Zoom calls for education and training and, and things like that. We're just really all about the education. And we have some really great resources too. Share what you're learning through gatherings, classes. Uh, sometimes, you know, we don't say like, I'm gonna have a class and I'm just gonna be the expert and everybody's going to come to me, which sometimes we do have a lot of really good information and, and stuff that we found that we wanna share with people. But also there's something really amazing that happens when we get together in an intimate space with people and we have some discussions and we start hearing of just like what other people are discovering on their health journey. And it just really blesses everybody in the room. I had a class recently here at my center and a lady that I didn't know started sharing something. And it was a very profound and amazing thing that actually led a lot of people to be teary eyed in the classroom that, that nobody and nobody else knew her either. Um, and so there's just something really beautiful that happens when we just take this setting and we say, this is, this is what I'm gonna do to start sharing it, it with people and helping people on their journey. And then we get these experiences that are just a blessing to everybody present. What to do also is to never quit. I think sometimes we, um, if we get on why we're doing it the, for the wrong reasons, uh, we, people kind of just like, well, I'm not making a ton of money right now, so I'm gonna quit because sometimes it does take a considerable investment of time at first, not money, but of time and just kind of some personal growth work and stuff like that. And so that's where some people fall off. Um, but if you're in it for the passion to help people with their health and to grow in that yourself, to grow in community and, and things like that, then why would you ever wanna quit, right? Um, and just holding yourself accountable to do the work and saying, well, I picked these times this week to, you know, invest in maybe sharing the information. And so I got to do the work. And, and when I don't, I'm, you know, I got to figure out what I got to do to hold myself accountable to that. So, because I'm my own boss, right? So when you choose the Young Living uh, Avenue, they have now what's called the brand partner business kit. And so you get this cool kit that starts you off with some information, training booklets. It's got a planner, planner calendar booklet. Uh, it's got a guide to the different bonus programs and things like that. And then it also gives you 90 days free of your own personalized website. And the cool thing about that is um, you can, what is my, I don't even know, mine's myyl.com dash Sarah Jo Poff or something like that. But anyway, um, it's just like a pre-formed website. I don't even like with my Healthy Families for God when I started that and when I added an online store, I had to pay somebody thousands and thousands of dollars to do all of that. And this is really cool because uh, it's a really after 90 days, I don't even remember. It's so cheap. It's like, I don't know if is it like $8 a month or something. But anyway, um, it's just a, it's just a, website that's already said and done for you. It's beautiful. And you get to, if you decide you want to add things like say that you have three things for your kiddo that you're like, this has completely changed his health, right? Um, you can put those in what's called a bundle and it makes it easy for people to just see, hey, this is what really worked for us. And it's all right there. So there's some really great things that happen with that. What happens now with Young Living is that there are customers and there are brand partners. Everybody who just 
wants to get uh, the 24% discount there. It's not wholesale anymore. It's just uh, a customer discount. And then with that, when somebody decides that they would like to earn referral cash and things like that from sharing, the upgrade is this business essentials kit, and that can just be added on to any order. And then once you order that, you're automatically upgraded to that. So just to share some of our resources that we have and that we put a lot of time into to help people on this, we do ongoing online trainings. Right now we have uh, Zoom trainings every Tuesday night, and then some of the others have other ones. I'm doing uh, ones on just identity work, belief in yourself, um, just uh, you know, working on creating habits and things like that. So again, it just kind of goes back to the personal growth. Uh, and I um, am also doing one this month on how I, you know, grew the trust of many people on social media and grew that following. And so there are some of those kinds of things too. We have an educational team app, which has some really awesome resources for sharing, for learning more. Uh, if somebody asks me about a specific essential oil, like yesterday, somebody asked me about bergamot oil, I can go into that app and I can easily and quickly pull up a shareable link that lists all this amazing information about that oil and just text it to them or message it to them. And so it really helps me empower people and get some really great information at their hands right away. We have downloadable class presentations and materials, whole packages that you can download for free uh, and, and not have to like create all of this stuff just to give you um, sort of a starting point for welcoming people into your space and just using it as a, as a foundation to just um, go from there and build on and really connect with people over natural health. So we have private training groups, uh, like I said, and then we have shareable media on some different resources and platforms too. We talk about income on this, which is definitely part of this um, because I feel like some of us, we just, um, we value, we value our time, maybe not enough, um, but we just so love to help other people. And so um, sometimes we might undervalue that. But I think the thing that me personally and many others have told me that they undervalued, um, that would be a huge blessing in this for them, is the person that they become. We have, like I said, work on so much on personal growth that uh, for some of us, we look back from a year ago, two years ago, and we're like, we are not the same person in a really good way um, because there's something to this that really just challenge us in ways that require growth. And um, for some people, that's not something they want to do. And so I like to let people know that upfront because I think some people uh, will like, be like, hey, come into this and make all this money and it'll be easy. And I'm not here to do that. Um, and again, like I said, it can be at any point where you decide if you just like, I, my family just needs more healthy products and I just am not in a place where I can budget that in right now. And so if I can share my passion for natural health while getting some referral cash so that I can help my family be healthier, then awesome. Or maybe it's another level where you just want to put money aside for the kids or, or for a vacation for the family or like I wanted to just help pay the mortgage or whatever it might be, um, you know, it'll be different, different levels. It's not like it's just gonna be so much personal work that it's just gonna be excruciating for you. Um, it's really just kind of what you make it. And so it's not like I'm here to say like, you have to do this and you have to go through all the levels and you have to get there. Um, it's really what you decide it to be. But um, we're here to just like really work pe with people and make sure uh, that, you know, when they want to, or if they want to, that they just have the resources to grow in it, however um, they need to. So that's just what I wanted to share with you tonight. Um, I'm going to check and see if there's any chat things that I missed. Um, if you have one of my oily friends, people that invited you to this, please, please go back to them. They, they are so knowledgeable. I am telling you what, we have a team of about 10,000 people and they are amazing, amazing people. Some of them I think are on here and um, they are just really, really great resources and they really care about people 
and um, I've seen just their heart come out in this. So, you know, go back to them. If you found this through me and stuff like that, absolutely reach out to me. And there it is. I found it. It's mywild.com backslash Sarah dash Joe dot pop. And you can just kind of get an example of what that looks like. Um, so we do have, I am so glad to hear that you love that Lizzie girlfriend. Um, we do have some personal training, different levels of groups. Um, because like I said, some people want to just take this very mildly and, um, just kind of just wet their toes a little bit, just to share a little bit, um, and things like that. And so they're, um, just wanting just the basics. And then we have a level two training, uh, where we take it a little bit deeper for those who are like, I'm in it for sharing and helping people, but I'm also in it to just really grow as a person. Uh, so I'm glad that you found it helpful, Lizzie. Thank you for that. So we are here for you. Let us know if you have any questions, uh, reach out and I will again, have this recording available on the Healthy Families for God YouTube channel. So you can access it, you can share it. Um, you are definitely free to share it. This is information that I'm, you know, what it, it's available to anybody if you think it would be valuable to them. So thank you absolutely so much for joining me tonight on this. And please um, reach out if you have any questions. Let me just double check here. We are good to go. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. I will talk to you soon.